Hello, it is Miracle Simeon here, and we are going to talk about how to create and design your business name, logo, and branding. So congratulations, you have a business idea. You want to become your own boss. If you don't know exactly what you want to do, go ahead and pause this video and go to my checklist. I talk about eight different strategies and ideas to get those juices flowing and try to narrow down what you want to do as far as the business. But let's go ahead and dive right in. So you make the name. The name doesn't make you. So just take a deep breath. Breathe. So anything you come up with is going to be great. But I just want to give you a couple of guidelines and tips on how to come up with a business name. What's in a name? Business names are extremely subjective. So if I have a accounting company and I want to name that business, the hair tie company, it's okay. I, if I have a great business, a great business model, customer service is amazing. People are just gonna say, "Do you did you hear about the hair tie accounting company? Like they're still going to refer to other people. They're still gonna use it. So anything you come up with is I'm sure already great, but here's a couple of guidelines. We, a couple of do's and don'ts. So naming guidelines, can you own it? Can you legally own that name? That is the biggest one. If I had that same accounting company, but I wanted to name it, um, Facebook. I can't do that. Facebook's already known. It's already out there. So just make sure it's a name that is that is available. Can you say it? Can you pronounce it? Can you spell it? That's a big one because you want to be able to say it and you want other people to be able to say, oh, the hair tie company. <laughs> so they can spell it when they're um, Instagramming it or Facebooking or sharing it or tweeting it. You want to make sure people know how to pronounce it. They know how to spell it. Will they remember it? Avoid long, complex names. So if I had that same accounting company, but it was the accounting company called Miracle Simpson uh, on Avenue Street. Like that's too long. That's too complicated. I don't want to work with you. Like just short and sweet. Does it offend anyone? So we all know what day and time we live in and make sure you're not offending the next person. So if you have a name and it, it eliminates or it offends a whole other culture or a whole other group of people, I would avoid that. Is it timeless? I don't want to have a company, the a Miracle Accountant Company 2020. I'm putting myself in a box. Make sure it's timeless because 2021 is going to come like in a couple of months. So make sure it, it's not connected to any type of time period or time. You don't want to quarantine something because eventually we will eventually we will not be in quarantine. So there's four types of names. It's imaginative. There's no connection to the business. So Apple is a great example. We all know Apple, the, the fruit, but this company, this computer company named themselves Apple. Number two, hinting, not directly related, but it makes you think of a general idea. I like to think of Tesla. Um, Tesla makes me think uh, innovation, creative, first of its kind. Like it gives you that feeling, Tesla. Uh, clearly, I want a Tesla. So um, number three is descriptive. So it tells you exactly what that business is. IBM, International Business Machine. That is a computer company. And then the fourth one is you. It's the founder's name. So we have Fenty, which is a really line makeup by Rihanna. And Fenty is her last name. So you can always just use a combination of your name, family name, your initials. Those are always a good way to start when naming your business. Now there's five types of logos. So we have abstract, it's more artsy, you know, the circles, it's it's a um, art form. Then we have picture, pluma, the logo is the actual animal. Letters, Netflix now has the N and that is their logo. Then we have icon, we know this is Starbucks, that is the icon, you, you see it and you know what it is. And then another relatively easy one is the name of your logo. Is, I mean, the name of your business is your logo. So Prada is a great example of that. 
great name, great logos don't make the company. Great companies make the logo. Again, have some reassurance, just deep breath that you make the logo. Whatever your company is, your branding, your service, that makes the logo. That makes the company, not necessarily the name. So there's two criteria for logos in my opinion. Can you own it? Is it not already out there? Is it not already took it? And will people remember it? This is where you're, you can be creative, your personality. You can literally make up a name <laughs> if you want to and just make sure it's rememberable. I will say a Connect Pro tip is logos can evolve. I, Take a look at Pepsi. Pepsi's changed their logo in a sense several times over the years. Of course, the name Pepsi is still there, but you will see different variations of their logo. So if you come up with something now, don't feel like you're absolutely married to it. It could change a little. So here is a checklist for creating your logo. Did you Google it? Make sure you know if that, that name is already out there. There's websites, there's social media handles already out there. And then is it registered? You want to go to the USPTO.gov web, website to make sure and see if it's already registered and also your state. So this is a direct, that is the state of Texas. So we went there first and made sure Connect Pro was even available to create an LLC and all of that good stuff. I would highly suggest to buy the domain name. Once you know what the name of your company is, even if you're not ready to have a full-fledged website, go ahead and buy the domain name. It's $6.99 for the first month. I would recommend DreamHost because in the long run, it is cheaper than GoDaddy. And so the second year is $15.99. But if you know it's going to be, you know, um, for instance, Miracle Simeon, I went ahead and bought my domain name, even though my website is not up and running yet. So go ahead and just buy it and then create social media handles, create your Facebook, your Instagram, your TikTok and your Gmail. Once you have a name, create all of that now. So it is all the same name. You don't want to have a personal email, but your company is something else. It's too conflicting and you want people to remember your brand, remember your name. So everything should be aligned. And then you need to go ahead and create your logo. How do you do that? I will show you how and some tools on how to create your logo. Because when you're starting off, of course, you want to do some things in-house. So thank you. Thank you again for watching. And let's go ahead and head to the next video.